So I'm not sure if you remember class from one of the previous videos. I had five boxes, but four of them I opened, and the other one just disappeared. Uh, it was the snap of my finger. It was gone. So today, we're bringing back that box. Uh, I found it. It was it's, it's kind of a weird place I found it. Anyways, um, we're going to go over three hats today that uh, have a bit of a theme to them and maybe a theme you might not have expected but a wholesome theme a good feeling theme to them and I'm already wearing it so uh, kind of a bit of a hint hint of where we're going and this is also playing a lot of catch up for hats that I've gotten in the past few weeks maybe a few months that have a special kind of connection but this one really hits home about it so Get out a notebook, pen, and pencil, because class is in session. Let's go! So this is going to be Concordia, University of Chicago themed. That's what the theme of this video is going to be. So I got my hoodie on. My second Concordia hat, my first Concordia hat, got pretty grungy uh, after a while. But um, I know even where I have it. Anyways, the colors of Concordia are maroon and gold. Great colors. Uh, first school that I went to that didn't have blue, really. And they, well, first time in a while that I didn't have a school with blue in it. Went to high school, had Navy and Columbia, and then community college was uh, bluish and silver and gray. So these maroon colors, very nice. Concordia is a started as a teacher's college back in 1864. It was known as Addison College, Addison's Teacher's College. And it progressed through the years starting as a Lutheran school among the different branches of Christianity, Catholicism, then you have Eastern Orthodox, and that from the Great Schism. But then within the Catholic side, the, uh, the Western kind of culture side of the Christianity tree, you had Catholicism, and then in 1517, this monk named Martin Luther broke away from the church. Unintentionally wanted to reform it, but that's what, be, that's what Protestantism became, and basically saying, hey, Pope, you got no authority. Your job is baloney, it's made up. Here's how we're going to change the church. He didn't want to break away from the church. He just wanted to change the church, the Catholic church. He then would spark a revolution of political uh, systems and of religious systems as well. So it's a whole story for another time, and... My Lutheran hat that I, my first custom hat is this Psalm uh, 46 hat. Uh, this Psalm 46 is a mighty fortress. It's in the Bible and it's one of the big hymns for Lutherans. So the Concordia University, Chicago school itself went through a lot of different name changes, uh, integrations of, you know, Back in 1864, there were just men that were able to attend, and only Lutherans. And then through the years, opening to more diverse uh, individuals to make Concordia a really great place. And then, so that's where I went to school, and it's just on the outskirts of Chicago. It's in River Forest. But I would always, and Oak Park area, but I would always see like CTA buses and Chicago police cars. So, not too far off, and there was the green line down by Oak Park anyway, so close enough to Chicago. Let's start off with this Chicago Cubs hat that I saw at Macy's. In maroon, kind of a darker maroon than, than like what this would be. Actually, a little bit closer than I expected. Um, the go bottom is more like a tan with the, uh, the underbrim. Oh, by the way, there's a 47 brand 
So just in case you're shocked that other hat brands are doing uh, Kalani brims, if you thought that it was just for New Era 5950 fitted hats, then you were completely wrong. The front logo and the side 47 brand logo are in kind of like a beige, light, not really light gold, there's really no shimmer to it. And then on the side of the 2016 World Series side patch, the one that they wore on the field, kind of, or it's kind of like the logo that they used for like the advertising. It wasn't like the exact side patch because the other one had like the trophy in the background. 47 brand MVP where it's got snaps in the back and a structured crown in the front. This is acrylic and wool combination. 85% acrylic, 15% wool, and it was made in China. So, what's nice about this one, it's adjustable. I'm not always the biggest fan of the MVP hats, to be honest, where like the crown is structured in the front. Not always the biggest fan of it, but every so often, like this one, I have a bear's hat, it works really nice. So, this one I got back in uh, September, it was the last week of September when it was the latest Ultimate Hat Collection Contest and I wanted to bolster up my numbers, so was at uh, Lids, Woodfield Mall, getting a hat, and as I was walking out of Macy's I'm like, you know, let me just check what they have here, and I saw this, gotta have it, maroon color, kind of goldish, kind of Concordia, but why not? So let's get into the Clark Street Sports Box here. They are sneaky good. I don't buy them from from them too often. Um, I've known Clark Street more longer than a lot of other people, probably outside of Chicago. Uh, I mean, they had great hats before as well. Not spectacular, like, you know, something with an underbrim or a side patch. But they would have some different hats out there for the Cubs and for the White Sox. Um, it was always a turnoff that they never had, like, a program like Lids does where like you get 20% off when you have your Lids Access Pass Premium Pass that program. So there's always a turn off of like you know I can get this more likely I can get this hat that I saw Clark Street Sports for at Lids for less because of the program but now it's they're doing their own thing so you gotta go to Clark, Clark Street then. So really cool that they're doing it. Also it'd be cooler if they do a rewards program. Not necessarily like, hey, gonna get a discount, but like building up points, that'd be that'd be the nice part. So when I saw this hat posted on the hat crawlers Instagram page, I think it was a Thursday, I went so fast to Clark Tree Sports website to find it. it wasn't there. It was a glitch. It happens. So, but at least, at least from the hat crawlers page, I would then know that this was coming out. So I would have to be, you know, just at the ready. So there was the next day, I think it was a Friday, that it was ready, available to buy, and I bought it so fast. I love, I love seeing this cup hat in Concordia colors. The whole package. That is one shiny Cubs hat. This is fantastic. This is nice. This is a little bit of a darker maroon, maybe almost like burgundy in comparison to uh, like my sweater here. And kind of, yeah, still a little bit darker than. This is a little bit similar to my first Concordia hat, which if I have a picture of it, I'll put it up. But, no. When I saw this, I had been wanting, because I had seen Hat Club and some other places do, like, crossovers of sports teams and the for baseball and for the colleges in the area. Uh, I know, like, Hat Club recently did a Cubs and uh, Notre Dame. University of Notre Dame. It's like, that is nowhere near fucking close to Chicago. I understand the regional aspect. I mean, on the the news, we'll, for sports on ABC7, I'll see that they'll talk about 
Notre Dame, but it's not Chicago. Concordia is Chicago. And yes, I might have heard a crawler mention that it's not exactly related to Concordia, University of Chicago, that it was mentioned that it was connected to the Kanye West College Dropout uh, album with the colors. I could see that. I could see why. Now, granted, but really, I mean, I think it's more likely that you'd want to have a hook to a to college, to a nice little campus instead of Kanye. I mean, you know, granted, like, that college dropout was, you know, before Kanye was Kanye now, but still, you really want to connect to Kanye and how crazy he's gotten? I mean, his mu music is okay. I mean, when he was on with Jay-Z and uh, Rihanna for Run This Town, great. Um, in Paris, great. Gets the people going. Um, yeah, didn't want to say the other word. Um, no Church in the Wild, that's also a good song. Um, stronger, Amazing, those are good ones. Power. I know, I'm just pretty much listing off his like greatest album uh, track list. But I mean, I think Concordia University of Chicago has better... Not, I think. I know it has better music than Kanye. We... I was in the band. Trust me. We are globally known. And besides, we were founded... In 1864, we were here before Kanye, so this is a Concordia, University of Chicago, hooked Cubs hat from Clark Street Sports. Besides, with the new rules for hooks from New Era, they really, the, the retail store really can't come out and say that it exactly connects to this person, place, or thing, you know, necessarily. They maybe have, like, copyright issues to it. Understandable. So it's in the eye of the beholder. So this is my first Concordia 1550 fitted Chicago related hat. And it fits great. Once I bend the brim a little bit, um, I've never been a fan of the like white silky smooth sweatband on the inside, but it's still a pretty fucking awesome hat. The colors are great. I mean, if you look at the the I got this hat back in towards uh, in my senior year, 2017. I mean, these those yellows are the same. Uh, the side side patch is the 1990 All Star Game side patch, by the way. Um, yeah, the maroon is I'm gonna say it's burgundy, but still, this is such a great hook of a Chicago, the greatest Chicago baseball team to one of the greatest Chicago schools. So it's a great connection. It's a great, great class. So, Clark Sports, this is a fantastic hat. Top 15 of the year for me, considering of like the hundred some hats that I've got myself in this past year myself. So, there's one more Concordia hat, or related Concordia hat, but it's actually Concordia hat. At the bookstore, we, Concordia University of Chicago, we're a Division Three school. Really, the campus is small. It's like a city block, practically. It's it's walkable. It's confined. There's about 1,500 students that attend. At least 1,500, 1,600, last I remember. At least when I was there, let's put it that way. And about 700, maybe 800, lived on campus. In the dorms, I was a commuter. So, we're kind of small. So maybe some of the apparel might not always be some of the bigger names. So I was always upset when we had Legacy as our hat brand. That, I mean, even, even with this hat, you see that? Yeah, the, yeah, the stitching on the inside where it says CUC. And then you have this kind of extra piece of paper just kind of hanging off. Yeah, that's just poor craftsmanship that's just infuriated me so when I was out in Chicago uh, doing a field trip recording uh, at Burdine's Chicago I was on my way back down North Avenue 
and then hit on to Harlem Avenue and went to Concordia, went to the campus, hadn't been there since before the pandemic. This was August of 2022 that I, w I had visited and then before that, the last time I was there was probably October, November of 2019. It had been a while. So went to the bookstore, went to the bathroom first, then went to the bookstore just to see if maybe there's a hat there. I grabbed this hat so fucking fast. This was a, one of the fastest times that I grabbed a hat because Concordia stepped up. They they read my mind. We got a 47 brand Concordia hat, cleanup style. Hell yeah! Kind of one of their, their newer logos. They, they went through like a new logo rendition uh, even when I was there. So this is one of like the newer Black Seas. But still, Fourth Avenue brand, Concordia. This, it's insane. It is a miracle. Um, this was the fastest I had ever really grabbed a hat. Um, I mean, probably faster than any Hat Club hat um, when, it was, when Hat Club was at peak. Um, this was a, this is a dad hat. It's my favorite hat style. And it's my school. This is one of my top ten hats of the year for me. So this was an incredible find, um, and kind of hoping that maybe if I go back the next time or in the future, they'll have something with like the cougar on the front. Um, granted, the the newer cougar is a little bit more cartoony than the older cougar when I was there. Was well worth the wait to have all this out and I appreciate for sure Clark Street Sports doing this Concordia hook unintentionally but doing this Concordia hook uh, this is one of my favorite Cubs hats now um, just like the gold the detail they have in the threading and in the, on the side uh, the batterman on the back great colors too um, yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this to homecomings when I go in the future or to any other Concordia University of Chicago event. Um, it's gonna be tough to compete with with a, a 47 brand dad hat, but I think people will also understand this one too. Let me know in the thought, your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, your favorite of these three hats today, and which one looks cooler, and. Anything else uh, that you want to talk about in the comments, um, I will uh, recommend, I will try to put in the description down below uh, a link to uh, Concordia Uni University Wind Symphony. Uh, we were awesome. We, we toured. We, we toured across the country, across the world, went to South Africa, uh, been to China before, so we're, we're awesome. So way better music than, than Kanye, so sorry, just facts. I'm sorry to hurt your feelings, but not sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm also approaching, I think I'm with one of the, well, these are older hats, but this one is like new, new. Um, I think I'm at 100 hats for the year now, which, I don't know, I think it's kind of, I've, I've kind of slowed down in a way but also feel like I've ramped up and down in spurts, not over time. So we'll see how the year ends. It's mid-October right now, so we'll see. Hopefully maybe like 125 would be a nice goal to get to. I still have, as always, hands off to you for watching. Go Concordia, Chicago, because there's more than one Concordia out there and Chicago is the best one. Go Cougars, bless you all. Deuteronomy 31.6, and I'll see you next time in class. Class? Dismissed. Bye, everyone.